Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your main man Steven back again to do an action-packed video on Liverpool's Youth Academy Future Stars to Watch. That's the title of this video. So indeed, like, comment and subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy notification bell on as well. So share me out. But yeah, Liverpool stars for the future. We start with the goalkeeping position. Kilman Kelleher came from the Youth Academy. Brilliant backup goalkeeper to Alison Becker in that goal. And indeed, we do not need to sell him. We need to sell Adrian any day ahead of Kilman Kelleher. Republic of Ireland goalkeeper. Brilliant from him. Not caught up to Republic of Ireland. It's a disgrace from the Republic of Ireland coach. And indeed, uh, I do think Kilman Kelleher is a... Yeah, he was at the Youth Academy. That's how we got Kelleher. And he's a brilliant cup goalkeeper as well. And indeed, I do think Kilman Kelleher is a good addition. We move to left back. Left back. Um, I know we already have Simikas and Robbo. We don't need coverage on that left back. But we do have a very, very talented player on that left back. By the name of Luke Chambers. He's very, very versatile as well. Luke Chambers, he can play left back. Central back, left midfield, central midfield, very versatile indeed. His primary position is left back, but his other positions are central back, central midfielder, and left midfielder, according to Foot Mob. Indeed, this is a talented, talented player, man. Talented player. Maybe when Simikas and Robbo. Uh, Robbo rarely gets injured, but we keep rotating Simikas and Robbo for the Cups and the League. And the um, Europa League, most likely this season. Um, FA Cup is not happening yet. We're in the EFL, of EFL Cup still. So, after beating Leicester. So, indeed. Um, yeah, indeed. Liverpool well faced Bournemouth away in the EFL Cup. So, I think that's the fourth round or fifth round, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah. I don't get why they keep cornering rounds. It gets mixed up. And not round of 16 or so on. But basically speaking, this is a 10 to 15 minute video. So I have to move quickly. But Luke Chambers, under 18 Liverpool Academy player, can be a bright future for Liverpool. We move. Very talented player that we all know. It has to be Stefan Bajectic. Stefan Bajectic. I know you see him more in the defense. As you know, the defensive midfield. I know he's injured. If he wasn't pampered by injuries and a little injury prone recently, he would be a quality, maybe close to a world class player in the future for Liverpool. Still relatively young, Stefan Bajectic. But indeed, I do think Bajectic needs some. Yeah, his passing is good. He can defend. He played right back in the Europa League. What else can you ask from him? He can play central back as well. Bajectic is a decorated player. And I think he will be a bright future for Liverpool. The Spaniard is a good quality player despite the injuries. We move. We move on to the right back. It has to be Connor Bradley, guys. Connor Bradley... Is quite the backup for Trent Alexander-Arnold who can barely defend. Despite him, the last game against Brighton is the only game he can defend. He kind of cleared the ball away. He actually got in the way of a crossing from Brighton. And indeed he did well in the last game. But rarely you see Trent defend. He can't track back in time. And you saw the Isaac incident, Anthony Gordon incident a couple of times. There's so many use and those. We can't blame Trent. He's relatively young. Yes, he came from the academy as well in the past. Must be. But indeed, Trent is good. I knew Trent since the uh, miracle at Anfield against Barcelona. So that's 
The season before that I knew Trent very well, but uh, that's the first season I started watching. And the second season I started watching Liverpool. I didn't get introduced to Premier League. I don't think I had cable back then as well. That's another issue. I had... I had cable here and there, let's just say, um, here and there, um, basically speaking, um, because, yeah, I had English TV, and then I stopped having it, and now I have Apple TV, it's good and bad at times, at the end of the month at times, but it's working right now, and I can watch football again, I'm glad that I don't need to get these stupid pop-ups from Total Sport Tech on computer. That leads me to ads and random nonsense. Seriously, I hate these pop-ups. It doesn't get me to the game and it goes to spam. It's seriously annoying. But it is what it is. Connor Bradley, definitely quality. Back up to Trent Alexander-Arnold. I knew very well since the assist to Diego Garigi to beat Barcelona. And in the, the previous seasons, when Daniel Sturridge, I think, was still there. Sadio Mane, Wijnaldum, those guys... We're still at Liverpool Football Club. Coutinho, I think, as well, was the season I started watching Liverpool closely and eventually chose them as my club because English commentary is what I understand the most. And you always get English commentary in Premier League compared to La Liga. Sometimes the commentary, there's no commentary when I watch the highlights and sometimes it's Spanish. Which I don't understand as well as English, of course. And in the Connor Bradley stifled by Jack Tech, Luke Chambers, we move to Reese Williams. Reese Williams, I think, is not good enough compared to Nat Phillips. Seriously. Nat Phillips, I don't know where we got him from. He's at Celtic right now, I think. Nat Phillips. Uh, big up to Nat Phillips at Celtic. Yeah, Celtic loan. He went to loan to Stuttgart 2019-20 season and 2022 he went to AFC Bournemouth or the team that we get annoyed at times. I think Bournemouth really caused trouble for us this season scoring the opener and almost a second goal chalked off for offside. Bournemouth can be tricky at times and it might be tricky in the EFL Cup if we rotate as well the Carabao Cup indeed but indeed. Big up to Nat Phillips. Uh, and Comacchio. My Frenchman. I think he will be a good addition to this Liverpool squad in the near future. I have him in FIFA career mode. Use him occasionally for the Cups. But, well, come on. Even the Cups are hard when I put it under pro professional or world class mode. Professional feels like... Legendary mode on FIFA career mode and 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 what's it the world class feels like legendary and beyond top player on FIFA career mode it's crazy the computer AI is too genius I can barely attack them and I concede way too easily against those AI uh, AI teams usually in FIFA career mode. It's not against real people, it's against AI. So yeah, let's enough of FIFA career mode. We move. Um Nat Phillips, Reese Williams, Comatio, Quenza, Jaro Quenza, quality, quality player. I think he has a bright future at Liverpool. Subbed in well for Konate and Van Dyke as well, maybe to some degree in the Europa League and Andy is doing genius. And he was First use, I think, in our youth academy in the Cups. I think one of the Cups he was introduced. Brilliant. Brilliant talent. Can defend fast. Can track back. Everything you need from a central back. Calvin Ramsey, injury prone. Since joining, didn't get any game time, I think, at Liverpool. Unfortunate with the injuries. Uh, fair luck next time. Bobby Clark in the midfield. Bobby Clark. Is a talented player from Liverpool, man. Bobby Clark can pass the ball. He's a good addition, young age. Can take time to adapt to the Jurgen Klopp system and tactics as well. And I think Bobby Clark will be a bright future for Liverpool. Alongside Steven Bajectic, of course. 
Tyler Morton, guys. Tyler Morton. Oh, man. Why did we let go of Tyler Morton? It's mainly because he was injured preseason. And that's why Tyler Morton was forced out of Liverpool to Hull City, guys, I think. Hull City on loan in September. Unfortunate. I really rate Tyler Morton. I have him in FIFA career mode as well. I use him in FIFA career mode, Liverpool career mode. So, indeed, I rate the player a lot. And, indeed... I think Liverpool will do better in that DM area with Tyler Morton on board. And why did we let go of Tyler Morton? Injury like Stefan Bajekta, but Stefan Bajekta stays and Morton goes. Come on, man. Had a good spell at Blackburn Rovers. And he's on loan again. Hard luck. Klopp says he might return to the squad 2024-2025 season. That's a little late. He'll be away all season. That's disgrace for Tyler Morton. Talent like Tyler Morton. I rate Tyler Morton a lot. I don't care what you guys say about Tyler Morton. I rate the teenager, the young player a lot. Indeed. I rate this player quite highly. Tyler Morton. Tyler Morton. Born 2002. See what I mean? He's relatively young as well. 20 years of age. Very good. Just past teenage years and past adult. But yeah. Adulthood. But yeah. Brilliant from Tyler Morton. Shout out to him. Fabio Cavallo. Oh man. Why did we let go of Fabio Cavallo? Cavallo. Look at that. Remember that late goal against Newcastle last season? That's how to do it. And we win again this season through Darwin Nunes without Cavallo as well. Always on the wing or a striker position we score against Newcastle time and time again away to St. James Park. Man. Big blow. Big loss for Liverpool this season. Fabio Cavallo's presence on that left wing was missing against Brighton as well. Imagine if we had Fabio Cavallo at our disposal to sub off for Diaz. I know Diaz is very quality. But we have to rest him and prevent the injuries in the near future. I just think, oh man, it's a disgraceful choice from FSG and the board and Jurgen Klopp for letting Carvalho leave for Leipzig on loan. Oh man, bad choice by the board. Very bad choice by the board according to me. I rate the player a lot, Fabio Carvalho is a Portuguese, young Portuguese indeed. Only 21. And indeed. Oh man. Not getting many appearances for Leipzig as well. Usually I see him on the bench for Leipzig. When I watch them in the Champions League. Or the league. Sometimes I, f I follow them on Foot Mob. I don't watch. I don't follow Bundesliga like that this season. I follow Premier League and MLS. And a little Syria Because La Liga is. Farmers League, Real Madrid, Barcelona, but but come on, I just hate Real Madrid doing well. I see it on top of the table, I just don't want to watch La Liga like that, bro. Seriously, I just don't. It's a disgrace how Barcelona dropping the points and Real Madrid remains in the first place spot in the table. It's a disgrace. I don't like Madrid, seriously. Bellingham carrying Real Madrid, Vinicius Jr. back. It's just going to get better for Real Madrid. <sighs> Don't sign Mbappe January, please. Don't sign Osterman January as well, please. There's lots of names being met. Vlahovic. A couple others for Real Madrid. In that striking position. And maybe they're linked with some midfielders as well. That maybe Liverpool should be linked with. But yeah. I just don't like this Real Madrid team. We move. Fabio Cavallo. Big loss. Big loss for Fabio Cavallo. We move on to Frandedorf. Mikhailmo Frandedorf. Oh, what a player. I'm seeing some goals from him. Indeed, this guy has talent. I think this is the German international. Yo, place of birth, Ethiopia. Uh, he is a youth international for Germany. See what I mean? He's African for Germany, but... Indeed, Frenetorf is not that bad of a player. I think he can have a bright future, but 
What is his vital position? Right winger. Mmm, right winger. So we have coverage on that right wing. This guy's a brilliant talent. I think he's fast as well. Played against Bayern in the friendly. Leicester City in this 4-0 win in July. Oh, it's this year, July. Pardon me. This year. I got the dates mixed up. Um, July 24th. Before the season started. Um, December 16th. Milan. And yeah, those are the games he played, I think. Under 21 Liverpool player. Under 23 Liverpool player. 19 years of age. German international. I think he has a future for Liverpool. I think so. Just according to me. James McConnell, I don't know him very well, but he's an attacking midfielder and pinned contract with us. So I don't know him. Have to watch him more. Call about this Callum Scanlon, guys. Liverpool fans, tell me about him. I don't know him. I didn't watch him that much. He's in the under-21 team, Callum Scan Scanlon. I think it's how you pronounce his name. Let's see some familiar names here. You, Van Dolk. Van Dolk is up in the ranks. From the, I think, under 23s, if I'm not mistaken, under under 21s. Somewhere in the youth academy, Van Dolk. Quality right winger to help out Salah, ease pressure and fatigue of Salah on that right wing. And indeed, he's fast, he's tricky, and he scored his first goal in a friendly against Leicester. Uh, but yeah, so indeed, it's brilliant. From Van Dijk, but there's a couple other names to mention. Cade Gordon, he's fast as well, and he's a right winger as well. He can be considered. I think he's in the Liverpool under twenty one to twenty three, and indeed, I think Cade Gordon can be a bright talent for Liverpool in the near future. The guy's young. The guy's got talent on that right wing. Sure. Glatzo, I have him in. FIFA career mode, but I'm not sure too much about him in real life. So under 21's transfer mark, and there's no under 23 transfer mark. Next season squad. Jaros, I know that I saw that goalkeeper in our bench sometimes. Uh, Owen Beck. Owen Beck. I'm not so familiarized with him. Haven't watched him enough to do any analysis on him. Arario, the Colombian, he plays central back, he plays right back. He might be future, but I don't know in real life. Haven't watched him in real life. Curtis Jones came from the academy. Curtis Jones is doing brilliant. Curtis Jones is doing brilliant, guys. Curtis Jones is indeed doing brilliant for Liverpool. And I do think Curtis Jones is a good addition to this Liverpool team. Uh, despite the suspension, he has a bright future. He's young, sometimes injured, but look at the game against Leicester last season. Curtis Jones delivered a brace, I think, in that game. So, and eventually Leicester City, nobody predicted to go back down to the championship. Amazing, shocking stuff from Brendan Rodgers, who eventually got sacked and went to Celtic. So, indeed, yes. Indeed, that was harsh. But Brendan Rodgers is not a championship level manager. He's a former Liverpool manager and managed for Leicester for quite a few years. And now he's at Celtic. Disgrace from Leicester. And that's how they lost James Madison, Tillemans, um, Harvey Barnes. The list goes on. Hold your hat. Keep a watch on Dewsbury Hall. He's doing amazing at Leicester. That's why I wanted him. And keep an eye on Pat Sindaki. He might be on the way out. Nacho, You never know with that guy. I don't know how old Nacho is even. But he's been for there for a long time. Timothy Castania back at, I think, Fulham or one of the Premier League clubs. Timothy Castania left as well. I'm pretty sure eventually some other players will leave. Like uh, the Harry Sutar. Casper Spiker left for Nice. But yeah. Um, yeah, you have lost your goalkeepers indeed. And yeah, it's just 
not looking good for Leicester. Not looking good. Just I think Justin is still there. You lost Chilwell to Chelsea. You lost a bunch of Ricardo Pereira is probably still at Leicester, yeah. And Nadidi, surprisingly, it's still at Leicester. I found out last time. I almost said Nadidi left. I thought he left by the how bad Leicester. I know the top of the table. They're gonna come back, right back up from the championship. Leicester is one of the teams. Southampton might stay down there. Leeds are struggling in championship. Those are the three teams who went down. Blackburn Rovers. What if we see them up? And some other teams I have to take as a look at championship. That's for a separate video. But indeed we move. We keep it moving. Harvey Elliott. Indeed. I rate Curtis Jones higher than Elliott. But the Elliott can play on the right guys. It says on foot mob he's a left winger. But he played on that right for Salah on many occasions in the cups. That's not his position. I Now I see why according to foot mob. He is 20, yes, he can experiment different positions, DM, central midfield, and left wing, but not put McAllister, uh, DM area, and put Elliot on the left. That's just not right. That's not working, Klopp, against Brighton. I hope we rotate Ravenberch back into the starting 11, in the Premier League especially. We bought him and Endo to play in that holding DM role. And you're not doing it. Disgraceful. Disgraceful from Jurgen Klopp. Stubborn. Stubborn at his very most. You're playing McAllister out of position. He still haven't found his rightful position because Jurgen Klopp playing him everywhere but his rightful position. That would is what I would assume Jurgen Klopp. Elliot. I think he should go. He should move on with his career. I know he scores in the... He almost scored. A, yeah, it was the Wolves. 90 minutes. Plus extra time. I'm pretty sure that was the Elliott chance. And it deflected off Bruno into the back of his own net. Excessive celebration. We were celebrating so hard. And both of our players, uh, Harvey Elliott and... And Curtis Jones got, got yellow carded that game. It will go down as a Buono on goal deflected and it's very good. But the work is that the that of Elliot who drives Salah's cross low through the crowded box. The youngster leaps over the barriers and in, is in the crowd. But that is a booking for Elliot. He joins the Liverpool supporters who have made the trip down the red. Harvey Elliot, yeah indeed. But, um, I think that's all the Liverpool Academy players, if I'm not mistaken. Is there more in the midfield? I don't think so. I think Stefan Bajek take Tyler Martin, Bobby Clark, and McConnell, that I don't know well from Liverpool, but yeah. Um, wingers, Kate Gordon, Bob, uh, Kate Gordon, Van Doak. Right wingers, Kate Gordon, Bandog, and Frenner, Frenneroff, Frenderndorf. I can't pronounce his name. I think. And that defense, we definitely have covered. Comatio and um, Quanza is very quality. Comatio is injured at the moment, I think, but he's very quality for Liverpool Academy. My Frenchman, indeed. Back up to Konate any day if he's fit. Quenza as well is a quality player. Nat Phillips sadly left. Uh, no, not enough coverage. We need one central back in January anyway. So DM, two DMs and a central back most likely and a right back. Liverpool fans, who do you want in January? Two, diff uh, two midfielders, a right back and a central back. But I don't think FSG can afford four players or you would just take a DM. A proper DM, like a Lorente, uh, a Douglas Luiz, a Florentino Luiz, or who in that central back area? Who in the central back area and who in the right back area if you were to take players in January? 
um, young players or talented players in general? Tell me in the comments below. Contribute in the comments, guys. I love reading comments if you contribute. I don't see enough contributions, so I would want more in the near future. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Share the video. Notification bell on. On road to 100. Peace out. Steve Squad, peace. Liverpool Academy looking bright for the future.